Hi, my name is Matthew Bruce, film journalist and writer for the Love of Celluloid blog and today I'm continuing with my videos looking at the films inspired by James Bond. This week's video looks at the sequel to last week's Deadlier Than The Male, the suggestively titled Some Girls Do from 1969. If Deadlier Than The Male can be thought of as a pint of bitter, it is followed by The Vodka Chaser, that is Some Girls Do, a headier film than its predecessor, with hints towards the sex comedy, which would become popular fare in the following decade. This time around, a more world-weary Johnson as crime fighter Hugh Drummond is called into action to investigate the accidents befalling people connected to the development of the world's first supersonic airliner, the SST-1. The man who seeks to gain financially from the project's ruin turns out to be, predictably, Drummond's old nemesis, Carl Peterson, played this time with considerably less aplomb by veteran British actor James Villiers, who would go on to have a small role in the Bond film For Your Eyes Only as M. Stand-in Tanner. Hot on his trail, Drummond eventually ends up at Peterson's Bond-esque lair atop a cliff, which is surrounded by armed yet suggestively dressed female robots at his command. Peterson's right-hand woman is Helga, played by 60s film regular Dahlia Larvey, who also starred in the James Bond spoof Casino Royale as one of several iterations of 007. It's not hard to see where Mike Myers and co got inspiration for such films as Austin Powers years later. Despite the heavier tongue-in-cheek vibe of the sequel, the film does sport a catchy opening song by the relatively unknown Lee Vanderbilt, sounding uncannily like Johnny Mathis, and penned by lyricist and Bond regular, the aforementioned Don Black, who wrote the themes for Thunderball, Diamonds Are Forever, The Man With The Golden Gun, Tomorrow Never Dies, the end credit theme Surrender, and The World Is Not Enough. Copies of the original record release on the United Artists label are few and far between these days. The audio from my copy can be heard in the background to this video. Furthermore, the film has some amusing and redemptive Bond-esque one-liners. While Drummond is sat having dinner with an elab elaborately costumed Peterson and his entourage, the latter says, History repeats itself. Napoleon dreamt of the entire universe thronging to his door. Now I shall fulfil his dreams. After which Drummond asks quizzically, Dressed as the Duke of Wellington? Peterson replies, Well, of course, my dear fellow, never back a loser. This is only slightly funnier than the incident in Deadlier Than The Male, when one of the scheming women's hair pieces turns out to have an explosive device inside it, prompting Drummond to quip, that's what comes of letting success go to your head. Some Girls Do had been released by Network Releasing on a DVD double bill with Deadlier Than The Male, but was presented in a grainy, cropped, fit-to-screen 4.3 format. Now it has been mercifully re-released by Network earlier this year, in a restored HD presentation on both DVD and premier release on Blu-ray as part of their series entitled The British Film. The Blu-ray boasts extensive image galleries and an HD rendering of the original theatrical trailer. While considerably outmoded, I still believe Deadlier and Some Girls Do are both entertaining fare for any Bond fan and are something of a tribute to the liberal culture of the late 1960s and Connery instigated Bond mania. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from For the Love of Celluloid blog. Follow me at the social media handles below as well as my websites in the video description. It's truly quite amazing the things that some girls do. Some girls do.